Good evening for Rust trick number five. I'm offering something you'll find very useful for wipe on Thursday, and that is how to bunker a triangle airlock. Um, this uses a couple old ideas, including guarding twig foundations by taking advantage of the uh, guarding properties of terrain. So in this particular case, we're using a triangle roof and combining it with its conditional feature in order to guard our airlock. If you're wondering why everything looks weird, this is a property called Atmosphere Mie. Um, I'll put the code for that in uh, the description. But so here's the result. Um, this costs 1,600 stone um, to add to a pre-existing airlock. And the only uh, requirement is that you, you have to set the twig foundation very slightly into the dirt. So you might be thinking, uh, surely this is splashable. And I, normally I would agree with you. If you follow my um, earlier videos, I do tend to complain about these sort of things. But it turns out this is not splashable at all. Uh, it probably should be. Um, you can't, after all, see the tips of the twig. But the very top of the twig post is not itself damageable. Um, you can even, I mean, you can rocket it, you can incense it. It uh, overall, it doesn't, uh, it isn't splashable. Um, I'll show you just how far you have to go in. You don't have to go in very far, it turns out. Um, I would say you don't want to, you know, do it too shallow. So to be cautious, I would say make sure you get it at least this deep. And then just to uh, double check um, for this Im implementation, I'll, I'll go ahead and... Uh, build it and then we'll we'll uh, damage it and see see if we can get it to splash or not. Wow, I love how picky roofs are. So here's our basic layout, and we'll whip the explo back out and see what we can do. As you can see, still not splashable. Um, I might have done that kind of fast, so I'll go ahead and uh, remove the majority of it again. So um, the First foundation you place needs to be the place you're going to seal the bunker with. You need to submerge that in the terrain. And then you build the rest of your footprint off of that. So for example, um, if we were just starting out and we wanted to do here and we're going to build a 2x2, two two, place your ceiling twig first, then your airlock triangle, and then go ahead and build your 2x2. Two two. Um, whenever you're ready to finish the, the bunker, uh, all you need to do is come out, do a square to the left, and this is where your conditional triggering roof goes. And to prevent soft sides, you do need to wall this off twice. Uh, and then this is to protect the, the twig on the right side. And this can be obviously honeycomb or whatever you want to do with it. It doesn't matter too much. But as soon as you have these things set up, ah, voila, and then of course to unseal the bunker, you just destroy this twig. Anyway, I hope that uh, you find some use for this. It certainly should help keeping your loot safe on wipe day. Have a lovely day.